Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to teach you how to build your very own 6 volt tube flashlight e-sig mod. Now what this is, is it either takes two CR123s or a single 18650 sized battery and lets you vape off of it. Now what I do is I'll take a washer okay, and a 510 connector, drill the hole with a This bit is 21 64ths. It needs a slight bit of reaming afterwards. Alright. Which then would allow you to actually push the connector through and solder it to the back of the washer. Sorry about the autofocus there. It's not working. Once you do that, you'll have your top assembly finished. Okay. That is one of the major steps. Now, I chose these flashlights because they're about the diameter of a quarter and when you drill out the center of the washer you might have to actually this was a quarter 20 washer available at any hardware store that I drilled out the center and I actually put in the drill and I took my file held it as the drill spun on the washer till it got to the appropriate size you have to sand out the inside of the tube and you'll notice you have to pretty much go as high as you can to drill the hole in it now as far as the guts go, it's actually really, really basic and I want to say thank you to uh, Connie K out there for giving me this flashlight to demonstrate. Um, it's actually here under repair, but you can see the switch. Below the switch there is a washer um, and a spring. What the washer is, is right here connected to the connector. And the spring itself, if you can see that way down there is on the one side of the switch. I use heat shrink to insulate the top side of the switch and then I solder it into the atomizer connection and then you can press fit it and then fill it with epoxy now one of the other things I do is I drill a lot of holes in this bottom cap so that goes straight down to the bottom past the switch so if the batteries do vent the silicon rubber pops off but until then it's fairly watertight now I got one here that I gotta do so let's get to it What I do when soldering 510 connections is I actually make a little 90 in the wire. Okay. Then uh, push that into the center of a vented 510 connector. Okay. Then I take my soldering iron and my lead free solder. And I. And then I. Uh, well. For lack of anything funny to say, solder it. Now a lot of you are wondering why I'm soldering from the top down. Why am I getting solder all up into the um, center post of the connector? Well, that's simple. As you can see from this view, this is the back of it. You can't really see it that well, but it's completely filled with solder. Now, the solder is all around the inside, encapsulating the wire or holding it there. We're going to then take the file. You can use an emery board, sandpaper, whatever works for you. I like this little file I got. And you want to be careful. You don't want to sand too much and you want to make sure it's flush. But you just want to remove the excess solder. And that's it. Looks about right. As you can see, it's a nice flat finish and you can see a circle in there where the solder was. Um, when I braze this into the backside, it does look kind of disgusting, but 
when I literally braze the connector into the washer, there's solder that fills it up all the way around so that this isn't going nowhere. I removed the center silicone piece, and to get that back in there, I find you take a quarter inch drill bit, press and twist. Do it a couple of times, gets in there nice, nice. You'll then pass your wire through, like so. Now you have a seated 510 connector. Cut it off, oh, say about an inch and a quarter. Strip it again. Grab some heat shrink. Now this some people don't care about doing, but I do. And I drop a piece of heat shrink down next to the connector, right up to the center nub. Grab my torch and hit it. Let that cool off a little bit before you do this. And that, se that second piece will be coming into handy real quick. You will then have to take your silver solder again and your soldering iron and you'll solder it onto the switch. You want to make sure you're not just touching the solder. You want to touch the wire and the contact of the switch to allow the solder to flow all around nice nice. <clears throat> I will have a video up on my YouTube very shortly of proper soldering technique. Now, take your heat shrink, push it up over that after you make sure you have a good positive connection, shrink it, and then just do a test, kind of a test yank, to make sure it's not going anywhere. You're going to grab your spring, and then we're going to solder that on there as well. Now, you have to learn how to use your hands and mouth together sometimes, because I'm having some trouble finding words. You have to learn how to use everything you got to your advantage. Like, I do it in this order, just so that I know that I can stand up the switch. And then let solder flow onto that little positive post of the switch that we're making it. Once we do that, it should look something like this. Hold on. There we go. Now, you want that switch, uh, that spring there on the switch, so that it can make contact to the batteries that we're going to put in. Now, these are Radio Shack switches that I use, and flashlights I got from Home Depot last December that they no longer seem to carry. They might be carrying it in a couple of more months. I don't know. We'll see. I really hope they do because I love these flashlights. Take a little crescent wrench, tighten up that nut. You don't have to really go crazy because this will all be seated in epoxy in a minute. Okay. Now, as you can see, that is connected. You're going to put your stylish black button there and you're going to want to test it before you go any further. Now to do that, you just press the top in. You might need a couple of little love taps. I'm going to do that all the way around until the washer is flush with the top. Okay. I grab a couple of CO123s. You can put them up positive or negative. Because I don't have the uh, other bottom cap already modded, I'm going to use this red one. Close the bottom cap. Add yourself a cartomizer. And then, as you can hear it vapes. There you go. That's how you build a flashlight mod. Any questions, please leave in the comments. I will get back.
Thank you for watching.